Okay, so I kind of wanted to make a confession today. And that is that I didn't get into film school when I applied. Well, at least I didn't get into the one I wanted to. Um, this was back maybe three years ago. And I applied for it. I went for the interview. I thought it went really well. Um, and I just kind of assumed I would get it. And I know that sounds kind of arrogant, but if I kind of rewind a bit before that, I was, I was making a lot of YouTube videos. I was always making my own films. Uh, I studied film at my high school or school, um, secondary school, we call it in England, for uh, the last two years. I was doing film studies. And on one of the pieces of film coursework I did, I got like 49 marks out of 50. And I was just thinking like, there's something I'm really good at here. This is so exciting. Uh, and when the exam came around, I got you know, a C or a D. And then the next year, the second year of that, that film, film thing I did at school, the subject, the coursework came around and I got 49 out of 50 again. And I, I was so stoked. And me and uh, the friend I made it with were really, really happy with the film. We were so stoked that we got 49 out of 50. Um, it's really, really high mark. And then the exam came around again and I got a D again. And overall that gave me a B in film studies and I really felt like this didn't reflect my abilities, you know? And it kind of felt really shit. But anyway, I took um, the kind of year out after that. I was uh, making more films. I was applying to film universities and there was this one I really, really wanted to go to that my friend who was a year older than me, he went to it and he said to me it was an amazing time, an amazing experience and I was super pumped to go to it. And I went to the open day, I was looking around thinking, this is the place, this is awesome, I'm excited to go here. I just had so much confidence in myself that I was just gonna go there. And what happened is I went to the interview, thought it went really well and kind of three months later, I got this letter, opened it, expecting to get in and then it just said, sorry, not this time. Uh, you can do a foundation year if you want, but you know, you, you haven't got into the course you wanted to. And it didn't, I mean, I felt kind of shit at the time. Like not, I didn't feel like really devastated, but it made me feel worse than I thought it would, you know? It was the first time that it went in this thing that I thought I was good at filmmaking, somebody has basically said, you know, I showed them all my films in the interview and they, they'd basically said, you know, like, you're not good enough for this. I thought, I thought, fuck. So fast forward three years later, here I am in Spain and I'm teaching people how to make films. And I just kind of wanted to make this a message to you if you're watching that you can really define what you're good at. And it's up to you to decide if you're good at something or not and to get better at that, at that thing. You don't have to go to university. I went to a different university after this to study film, one that wasn't quite as prestigious or good, and I dropped out after a year because I didn't like the course. And after that, you know, like, I'm sure a lot of people were thinking, geez, like, what is this guy doing? He failed to get into one university, dropped out of the other one, what's he gonna do now? And I was living at my parents' house for a while, just working on this idea that I had of making travel films and making films about my life that other people would want to see. And then I just started doing that more and more and people started asking me questions such as, oh, what, what camera are you using? How can I make films like this? Or what are your editing techniques? Can you teach me some tutorials on this? And so I slowly started doing that and it's built into what I have today, which is a, a really, really cool business that teaches people how to make films how to make travel films, how to make vlogs for YouTube, how to make videos for businesses, how to make videos for your own business, how to make money using videos, you know? And I'm super grateful for what I've built up. And I'm not saying this at all to boast or anything, but I want this to be a video for somebody to watch out there who's not necessarily sure about what they want to do. Maybe you're just graduating from university, or maybe you're choosing which university to go to. And I want to say to you now, Ultimately, if you decide to work hard and back yourself in whatever you're doing, it doesn't fucking matter. It will matter to some people for certain degrees, doctors, lawyers, whatever, 
But if you have creative energies that you want to put out into the world, it doesn't fucking matter what university you go to. It doesn't matter what grades you get in school. You can create your own life. You can do what you want. And you can, as cheesy as it fucking sounds, live the life that's close to something that you would have in a dream. So <laughs> that's all I've got to say for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, keep filming as always and speak soon.